Hi everyone! My name is Nur Afizatul Izni binti Muhammad Jasri. I am a final year student from School of Physics, USM under the program of Medical Physics. In this video, I will talk about something that is related to our universe. I am sure that all of you have seen a lot of photos of the space on the internet. But, have you guys ever wondered how the scientists know what this universe looks like? Before I jump right into the topic, let me take you guys out of the Earth in 3, 2, 1. Oh look, where are we right now? That's right, we're on the moon. Now, I feel more motivated to talk about the space. So now, let's get back to the question. How does the scientist know what the universe looks like? Hmm. That's right, the answer is by using the infrared telescope. Scientists are beginning to unlock the mysteries of cooler objects across the universe such as planets, cool stars, nebulae, and many more by studying the infrared waves they emit. Infrared waves have longer wavelengths than visible light and can pass through dense regions of gas and dust in space with less scattering and absorption. Dust Infrared energy can also reveal objects in the universe that cannot be seen in visible light using the infrared telescopes. Now, what is infrared telescope? An infrared telescope is a telescope that uses infrared light to detect objects that is too cool and therefore too faint. Infrared telescopes use fundamentally the same components and follow the same principles as visible light telescopes. Namely, some combination of lenses and mirrors gathers and focuses radiation onto a detector. The data from which are translated by computer into useful information. The detectors are usually a collection of specialized solid-state digital devices and the most commonly used material for this is the superconductor alloy mercury cadmium telluride. To avoid contamination from surrounding heat sources, the detectors must be cooled by a cryogen such as liquid nitrogen or helium to temperatures approaching absolute zero. So, why use an infrared telescope? Infrared astronomy gives the scientists the ability to measure the temperatures of planetary bodies, stars, and the dust in interplanetary space. There are also many molecules that absorb infrared radiation strongly. Thus, the study of the composition of astrophysical bodies is often best done with infrared telescopes. Optical and infrared telescopes are very similar in construction, but infrared telescopes like the IRTF are designed to minimize the amount of heat that is emitted by the telescope itself. How the infrared telescope is designed? The well-known infrared telescope is called the Spitzer Space Telescope. It was launched on August 25th of 2003 and was recently retired on the January 30th of 2020. The spacecraft consists of an 85cm diameter telescope and three cryogenically cool science instruments which will perform imaging and spectroscopy in the 3 to 100 micron wavelength range. The image on my left shows the major components of the Spitzer Observatory. The one shows in blue is called the Cryo Telescope Assembly and this part of the telescope is cooled to within a few degrees above absolute zero with liquid helium, while the one in the red is the warmer part of the spacecraft. Spitzer's outer shell is made up of a dust cover, outer shield which is cooled by helium vapor, thermal shields which is to block radiation from space and the solar panels to shield it from the sun. The telescope and cryostat are surrounded by the outer shell. The shell keeps exterior heat from reaching the telescope and instruments by radiating it out into cold space. The telescope is attached to the top of the vapor cooled cryostat shell. The telescope and cryostat shell are launched warm and cooled down once in orbit. Spitzer's cryostat will keep the instruments cold by venting helium vapor from a liquid helium tank. The multiple instrument chamber containing the science instruments 
is mounted directly to the helium tank in the cryostat shell. The three main science instruments are an infrared array camera, an infrared spectrograph, and a multiband imaging photometer. The infrared array camera enables imaging at near and mid infrared wavelengths. The infrared spectrograph allows for both high and low resolution spectroscopy at mid infrared wavelengths. And the multiband imaging photometer provides imaging and limited spectroscopic data at far infrared wavelengths. Spitzer spacecraft refers to the warm portion of the observatory including the solar panel assembly, the spacecraft bus, and the components mounted in the bus that provide the observatory engineering functions. These components include the solar arrays, the command and data handling unit, the reaction control subsystem, the telecommunication subsystem, the power generation and distribution subsystem, the pointing control subsystem, and the flight software. How the infrared telescope is conducted? Infrared telescopes may be ground-based, airborne, or space telescopes. Ground-based telescopes were the first to be used to observe outer space in infrared. Ground-based telescopes is placed on high mountains and in very dry climates to improve the visibility. This is one of the ground-based telescopes which is called the 30-meter telescope that is located in Mauna Kea, Hawaii. An airborne observatory is an airplane, airship, or balloon with an astronomical telescope. By carrying this telescope to a sufficiently high altitude, the telescope can avoid cloud cover, pollution, and carry out observations in the infrared spectrum above photo vapor in the atmosphere which absorbs radiation infrared. This is how they conducted the telescope through airborne. This is SOFIA, which stands for Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy. It's a massive flying telescope operated by NASA and the German Space Agency DLR. A space telescope or space observatory is a telescope that is released into the outer space to observe distant planets, galaxies, and other astronomical objects. There are a lot of telescopes have been released to the space in the past. Some of them are Spitzer Telescope, Hubble Telescope, and James Webb Space Telescope. Watching the skies in infrared also let the astronomers study objects that aren't hard enough to emit in more energetic wavelengths like visible or ultraviolet light. Planets, for example, aren't hard enough to emit visible light but can glow in infrared. Studying the infrared light from planets in our solar system has revealed new features that weren't otherwise visible like a batch of cyclones at Jupiter's south pole or a massive invisible ring around Saturn or that nebulous patch across the center of the sky called the Milky Way was actually not a cloud but a collection of countless stars. Many parts of the galaxy still not yet been discovered and still remain mystery until today. It seems that this will be the end of my video. Thank you so much for taking your time to watch this video and before I end my talk, I will treat all of you to some beautiful images of our universe that have been captured successfully by the Space Telescope. Enjoy!